There are down there with the boys, the day out with the boys. There's Nan over there looking for whales. We're down on the beach. And we're just going to have a bit of a look around this little park here. It's not an old park, but we might find two bob or something for the boys. They're going to help Poppy do some digging and that. And see what we can find. And uh, we just walked out on the thing here. We've got a signal here. So we'll have a bit of a dig here. It's jumping around a bit. It's down a fair deep depth though. But we'll have a look to see. Alright, we'll back to you in a second. First down with the boys was typical on a coastal area is a copper nail. Must be out of an old boat or something. We might have been here one day. Copper nail, yep, typical coastal. Right, right we'll have another look further. Well, here we are down at the beach. The two boys are out there digging. Let's hope they find something. No, no. Whoa, what's that? Now you had to dig it too close, Solly. Let's beat that rock. Keep going. Don't put the digger in there, that's when the digger's going on. See, you can see we're on the beach here, not many people here today. It's been washed out a bit here, so I'm going to have a bit of a look down on the flats here where it's low tide and it's washed out. We'll never know. Something beautiful day today. Beautiful western blowing. No people on the beach hardly. Magic. Alright, we'll get back to see if we we'll find something. Alright, here we are. We've been metal detecting and um, never got anything really exciting. The beach has been flogged, I'd say. So we had to come back and have an ice cream, didn't we, mate? Uh -uh. So we had to come and have an ice cream before we go home. I All right. Mean metal, you mean metal detecting again? Oh, well, we'll see. All right. I got well, bubble gum. So you got bubble gum one. What did you get, Ollie? I got triple. Yeah? Bad income. All right. Triple. Well, here we are. We're heading into um, a little spot that I know of here. That, uh, some houses and that were moved. And I just want to go and have a look around where the houses would have been. down in this little spot. As you can see it's a beautiful beach area. I've got my grandsons with me today. We're going to do a little bit of metal detecting along the edge here where the houses used to be. Uh, it's uh, Ollie on the left there and uh, Lockie on the right. They're going to be metal detectors apprentices today. Anyway, as you can see it's a lovely little spot. All this area here that's sort of fenced off with that fence there is where like people used to camp and it used to be a, a lot of these houses these original old houses over here were over on this bank really and the council moved them back but 
a few of the old original houses been knocked down and remodernised. The old original people that moved in here were sort of um, priced out of the area by the people moving in and paying big vickies for all the properties. So, yeah, it's a house I used to live in over there, that white place. So leaving that there. It's been um, rechanged. It used to be just a single dwelling at the time, and now it's a double story. Yeah, so it's a nice little area. We'll have a bit of a look around, like the houses used to be over here, like I said, and all that area down there, Christmas time, if you cover with campers. They don't camp here anymore, as you can see. Everything's changed since a certain uh, style of person's moved in. You're not allowed to do this, and not allowed to do that, and do with us. All right, it's a beautiful little area, as you can see. Got my son with me today too, Jesse, he's come down to help me control the kids. <laughs> he does a bit of detecting too, I hope he finds something good today. Anyway, we'll have a chip and then we'll have a bit of a detect. We haven't moved far from the car. Found a pull tab there as we expected. Jesse's finding a couple of pull tabs over there. Anyway, I come over here a little bit. And uh, in the hole here, like we have a penny. Which is good. She's a King George, I think. Oh, mate, she's an oldie. It's an old English one. Can't get the date, what size the date? Uh, can't get the date off it, it's a little bit hard to see. It's, just come here for a second, Jess. See if you can read the date on the bottom of that. Nineteen oh one. Nineteen oh one. Now nineteen oh one penny. It's not bad. Second target for the site. Beauty. Uh, the boys have um, got a good sound here, so they're going to have a bit of attempt a live dig here for something good. It might probably be a um, full tab or something, but anyway. Maybe it's a live Maybe dig. The suit we got. That's up in the plug. Oh. There it is. Pull what tab. have we got? Pull tab. Yeah. Oh well, that's the way that's prospecting for you. Alright, very good. Now I just found my penny over there and moved over here and Hot dog. found the shotgun. Get paper, oh, paper shotgun cartridge back. Uh, we'll have a look at that and clean it up. And... Yeah, it's a... Hot dog. Yeah, strange to find that around a place where there was a lot of houses and things, but you never know. Alright, we'll carry on. Well, I haven't moved far from the car at all. I've heaps of pull tabs, as you can imagine, on a spot like this where people pull up for the view. Now, the boys have gone for a walk down the beach. I sort of kept persevering here. I haven't any found anything really decent since the penny. Uh, here we go. I think we've got the dreaded two cent coin, which are everywhere. Yeah, it's a two cent, a modern two cent. So they're everywhere, they're everywhere. Anyway, that's better than a pull tab. Well, you know, if you're near a beach, I suppose you're going to have to get a sinker. They come up like they're a penny every time. But anyway, a bit of lead for the collection at home towards a f the uh, fishing trip. Better than nothing. Better than a pull tab. Yeah, all right, boys are back now. They're back from their little walk. I'm going to get back into it again. Meanwhile, I found a cartridge here. The boy. Yeah. I can't see what it is, probably 303. Anyway, there must be wild buggers around this place years ago because shotgun cartridge 303. 
a wild little place. Right up. The boys are over there onto something. Had a good high pitched noise coming out of the machine. That's a uh, AT Pro. A bullet! What are they for? Uh, shell. What do you got? Got a shell. Oh, another 303 shell. Yeah, mate, they're everywhere, aren't they? Yep. Oh, I'm had a dead. Oh, very good. Found right. my Ollie. Who found that one? Ollie. Alright, let Lockie have a go now. I found a spoon handle or a fork handle here by looks of it. I'm not much good for anything. I don't think it's silver, I think it's... Yeah, it's just rubbish. Anyway, that's something. The boys are over there still having a bit of a dig around, but I've got something out of the hole here. There she is, she's in here somewhere. Some sort of button. Some sort of button. Strange thing to come across to you. Look at that. What is it? A crown on it there. Unbelievable. I've never come across one of these before. I'll see if I can get it in the light a bit for you. The crown on it. There's something written on the bottom of it. I just can't read it yet. I'll wait and I'll clean it up later. But anyway, it's a button. It's like a silver button. And it's... Uh, a crest of crown and a crest there or something but I, I can't read what's written on the bottom of it but I will in a minute I'll clean it up in a minute and have a proper look at it well, it's a beauty never found anything like that before the boys are still up around near the car there they haven't moved very far but anyway I found another coin here it's nothing work uh, right home about that which just you know, a one cent coin Better than nothing. Better than what I've been digging before with this bit of rubbish. Anyway, I've got one cent. Well, Oliver's over there digging down the chine. He hasn't gone any more than 10 foot from the car. I'm just here on the edge of the seat here. And I've dug me a dollar. So, it's a dollar closer to the new detector. Very good. Just heading back towards the car, and by the way, I come up with a silver 19, 19, 14, sixpence. Pretty worn, still, it's a silver. I can't focus in on it properly, it's pretty worn. 19, 14, sixpence. Well, it's a nice little silver. Very good for the day. Add to the bonus of all the two senses, and I guess it's a silver. For... Well, it's in the plug. See if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Another two cents. Live dig, and all you get is a two cents. Unbelievable. All right, there I am finishing the day off down here at this beautiful little beach site. She's a um, top spot to come. Even along this hill, they used to have the houses here before they moved them back. Anyway, I'll show you what I got for the uh, couple of hours of detecting. Well, you pull out the rubbish, of course, and you take it home with you. You don't bury it again, like some people do. Few sink. I've got a couple of fishing lure there, a tailor lure, and some sinkers, an old metal ruler, some shell cartridges, an old shotgun. We've got 
the two cent coins that are everywhere and some one cent coins all over the place they are they come down in here to the we've got a dollar we've got this thing here it's a I'm gonna clean it up it looks like a little beauty it's a silver button with a um, looks like a, like a you know what they call them the chet crown thing on it and uh, can't read read what's written underneath but I wait till I get home first thing I really found was a penny I thought this is going to be a great day you know first up penny old penny and then later on through the day I found this well worn sixpence anyway I've had a great day the boys have had a great day they've been down on the beach for a while down there some freshwater streams run in so they've been down there digging building dams and things in the freshwater streams and bridges and that but as you can see she's a top spotty I'd give them anything to be able to buy that house was offered to me for thirty thousand dollars back in the 70s it's now worth probably six hundred thousand but anyway that's life get the opportunity sometimes and we take them and other times you all think it's not the best thing to do especially when you're young and silly and uh, as you can see lovely spot love coming back here brings back a lot of memories my dad used to sit over there under the tree of knowledge which is now dead like my dad he's passed away but um used to sit over there watching out to sea for the mullet he was a professional fisherman look, look at it magic spot anyway i've had a great day i'll be back here again one day and have a better look around when the weather's a bit warmer catch us all later